Hello, this is a news update from Sweden. Many of you have probably already heard what has happened, but basically a young man, 19 years of age, whole life in front of him, a man named Tommy Lind, was murdered about a week ago by a man from Sudan. And at the same night, there was a girl who was raped as well. Now, I don't know exactly what happened, so I'm not gonna go into detail, but apparently Tommy has in whatever capacity confronted the Sudanese man either before or after the rape. I don't know, so I won't comment about it. But what we do know is that a um, young girl has been raped and Tommy Lind was murdered. Now, first and foremost, I would just like to say rest in peace, Tommy Lind. My condolences to the family as well. I will also say that as far as I know, there was alcohol involved in the situation. And uh, I've said this before, I'll say it again drunkenness needs to go. Uh, only bad things come out of it. But this video isn't about drunkenness. This video is also a way to expose the corrupt regime of Sweden because what you've seen now is instead of, you know, mourning a 19 year old guy dying, however he died, the mainstream media and the establishment, what they are focusing on is the fact that Tommy apparently was a right wing extremist. So his father has gotten a good few calls from all the major newspapers and minor newspapers, journalists harassing him basically, asking about his son's political views. So I repeat so you understand, when I say that the Swedish media, the Swedish journalists are hyenas, I want you to understand that I'm telling you the truth. So you have the father of, he has just gotten his son murdered, knifed to death bled out in a hospital. A week after, he is being harassed by journalists because they want to know about his son's political views. So there you have it. I don't find the words to describe how disgusting uh, their behavior is, but you know, we're working hard to replace the current regime of Sweden. That is what we're trying to do. And this just gives us more motivation when they act in such a manner. So the mainstream media and the establishment, they want to first and foremost prove that he didn't stop a rape, meaning that he didn't actively stop it during when it was happening. But who knows, maybe he confronted the rapist afterwards or before. I don't know, the mainstream media doesn't know either, but for them it's extremely important that we don't have a Swedish martyr or a Swedish hero. They're only trying it, they're only trying to make this into you know, right-wing extremists are using this tragedy for their own ends. Uh, and also, they are not taking the side of the murdered individual. They're focusing on portraying him as a right-wing extremist. And apparently, if a uh, pro-Swedish, pro-European, again, right-wing extremist, whatever that means, they're portraying him as exactly that. So it doesn't really matter if he died. Again, I don't find the words to describe how disgusting these individuals are. And this isn't the first time a Swedish individual has paid with his life for the multicultural health project that primarily an older generation has ushered in. And I want to especially lay blame at older, divorced or single Swedish women who have their own very depraved reasons for wanting to take in a lot of young men from Middle East and Africa. I won't go into further detail, but it's quite uh, disgusting, I assure you. So I want to just aim a massive statement of shame to everyone who has in whatever capacity endorsed the multicultural health project for anyone who endorses the media i've said this before i'll say it again the opposition in sweden is rising the trust for mainstream media is decreasing and for every single time they behave this way they lose credibility so anyway thank you for watching and tommy lind rest in peace xxo boom